Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 706. Tuesdays, we've been talking about professionalized wrestling in a uh, filled arena or otherwise. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. We are here. We are socially distancing ourselves from each other because uh, cameraman Rob is in the studio with me right now. Rob, how you doing? I'm doing you all took, right. You, you're... I got all my sickness out of the way early. Oh, good. Like yeah, I you said. were sick like two weeks ago. Yeah, I was, I was dying and I made a... Recovery from that. So yes, that's good. and you hung out with us while still kind of sick at two PW. Yeah, which, everything is fine. Which couldn't have gotten anybody else. No, sick. no, no. I'm sure everybody's great. <laughs> right. I'm sure everybody's just great. Uh, but everybody's they, been getting their, you know, they've been making their shows here in the last week. That's right. That's, that's yeah. right. Everybody's making their towns. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh-huh. And also, we have a myriad of people in the chat room. First of all, from Beacon, New York, uh, from his own uh, mayhem bunker up there. Uh, uh, keeping an eye on all the things wrestling is mad, Mike. Gosh, Magora, my laddies. Happy St. Patrick's Day for y'all. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's right. Where's your green, man? Uh, I'm not. I'm not Irish. Well, I mean, I was. Well, I I was gonna walk I out. Eat, I did eat corned beef though. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, I was about to walk out wearing whatever and uh, probably a wrestling shirt, and my wife was like, "Hey, you're not wearing green." So I'm literally wearing all the green. My Ninja Turtles hoodie and my uh, thrifty get roached uh, thrifty podcast shirt. <laughs> so, uh, so that there you go. I went, I went all the green, and I shot a a video today in a dance studio with a bunch of mirrors. So I really noticed myself if I was in the shot. Mm. <laughs> so there was no accidental bullshit. That's kind of the tricky, yeah, when you're surrounded by mirrors. When you're surrounded you're by mirrors, but shot. you're bright. <laughs> F and green. Sorry, I'm watching my language because there's a child present and he's hanging out with Matt Carlins, our friend uh, mm-hmm. f- formerly of the mainstream media. Mm-hmm. Sign. Oh, he has a sign. And it says Chad the Sad Chad sucks. That's right. What's up, man? Dudes never die. They only get hotter and hotter as the days go by. <laughs> Mason joining us. Sign guy Mason is joining us. How are you doing, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> My mom made it. My mom made it. There you go. Your mom made the sign? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. Solid. Solid. I mean, Solid. You, you do something to pass the time, Sorg. Sorg and Crafts is in high school. Matt, Matt, just teach your kid how to play like uh, Crafts and Roulette. There you go. I don't yeah. do Crafts. <laughs> All right. (laughs) Fantastic. Also with us, the Riz. Hi, Sorg. Now you can see my the other side of my room. Yay! He's been he's been rearranging things to work from home as most are. Yes. And also Riz came home uh to socially distance and play games together uh on our everything is canceled video game stream on Saturday night. I forgot to text Sorg and then all of a sudden I get did you make it home yet? Yeah, the next day. Because it was starting to snow, I was time. worried about you. By the way, I want to make I want to make this person perfectly clear: we are not distancing ourselves from Rob. No, we're just distancing ourselves from everybody. Oh, yes, just in general. Yeah. Just in which is general. great for gamers. Mm-hmm. Which you can follow me at Riz Plays Games on Twitch, and it comes around. Boom! There Boom. we go. Boom. Maybe. I, also, I needed that. I needed that story. Also, that. also with us as advertised, and some news to go along with us. Kyle from the Pit Fight is joining us. On? How you doing? You're hunkered down. School's closed out there at University of Pittsburgh uh, Greensburg, and I know we got some changes in uh, in what's going on with you guys. Yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a, a year and a week. I feel. <laughs> excellent uh we'll talk a little bit more about of course with everything going on with every like every other wrestling show there's some changes to the pit fight and we're going to talk with you a, a little bit about kind of going into that uh later in the show if that's all right kyle all right 
Yeah, that's cool. All right. In the meantime, there is a link. They're doing some great stuff for Connor's Cure, and there's a donate link I'm dropping in the chat room right now if you're joining us live, and we're going to have that in the show notes as well uh, for Connor's Cure, and we'll have more information about that here later in the show. But in the meantime, let's get all of it out of the way and have some fun here. Uh, check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links and subscribe to us in podcast and video form, and look us up on your favorite platform wherever you'd like to take out uh, a video cast, podcast, whatever the case may be. Uh, and also check out our other great podcasts and subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed where you can check out this show, the Monday Mayhem Wrestling Wrap-Up Show, and Indie Mayhem in a, a one nice convenient feed on your podcatcher. Uh, and also talking, excuse me, ta- ta- ma- ma- talking, talking Mayhem Mania. Thank you. I couldn't hit it. I just, I just, I, yeah. I needed to warm my voice up yeah, a little bit. Sure, I mean, and I I'm the one with the breath issues. Come on. I mean, you got my, yeah, I need a new register. I'm rusty from my tenor days in high school. So, um, anyways. <laughs> uh, also, you can drop us a line at that email address. Good times! Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, 412-206-WMAT0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. Follow Wrestling Mayhem Show on the Facebook page and the Facebook group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. A lot of great conversation. We're all helping each other out uh, there with everything going on. And if you're checking us out later, uh, of course, we are live here on Facebook Live, 9 p.m. Eastern Time every Tuesday. But if you're checking us out later, please hit us up on hashtag WMS706 on the Twitter uh, in order to continue the conversation. And, of course, we are streaming on several other platforms, uh, including uh, Twitch, Periscope, and YouTube. If you're on there, we'd like to uh, put that out there in case you guys are not Facebook followers. But, of course, uh, so we can be on your Codecast or whatever the case may be but of course the conversation that we are following is over at facebook um uh, with guys like partner with bobby fj town hanging out in there with tina uh and everybody else throughout the evening thank you everybody a lot of great numbers and there are a lot of people joining us here tonight for this because they're probably starved yeah. for entertainment yeah. after watching raw what was that yeah. once again outdrawn raw that's right yes we have i did yeah. i outdrew raw last night when we had the dog in the studio so there's that too also where are we at with my list uh thank you to our patreon supporters at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show we got so many of course we're leading in the patreon on the bank in next week i believe if unless we're adjusting schedule we'll talk about that later with mayhem mania you're getting a thumbs up uh, again a thumbs up about that uh fan of the show level our friends at Bo Diggity! Woo! ed burke bobby f j town team hammer fist at our poppy club uh heel bradley Dave Potner, Kyle Turner, uh, Daniel Towery, and Tina Keys at the Pizza Club level, our friends Doc Remedy and our friends at the WrestlingRevolution.com, who have been providing wonderful graphics for us uh, for the Mayhem Mania uh, exercise, let's call it, uh, experiment, however. Uh, also, our friends at the uh, manager level. Oh, gotta get very specific with this. Our friends at OccupyProWrestling.com. Our friends at with a dollar up manager, Mad Mike. And our friends at the super manager level. Farnsworth uh, Investments. There was a <laughs> lot of activity there. A lot of money flying around. A lot of podcast money. Good money. Good money. That's good right. Money. Support, support your local good podcast. Money, no Sorry, support your local podcast. Support your international podcast. Whatever the case may be. We don't care where you are. Borders don't matter to us. We're not. You can, Podcasts aren't shut down. We ain't care. We've got hoes in different area codes. No, no, that's a different show. Um, you guys can support the show too at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show those funds do go into uh the show paying the bills keeping the lights on uh and everything to make the mayhem awesome nope that's a different podcast you get the idea mm. I, guys okay mind so both it's fine last night of course uh well, mike and i were uh kind of on the wrap up uh just kind of assessing our spot with wrestling and mm-hmm. i guess the big news let's just off the bat Ooh. let's talk about wrestlemania or oh, as I've been yeah. affectionately referred to yeah. as Performance Center Mania, Kyle, yeah. you you you've not. I mean, Kyle, if I'm if I can presume uh, age wise and thinking back, I don't think you've experienced many WrestleManias that had less than fifteen thousand people in the crowd. Mm-mm. Yeah, this this is kind of crazy. Like you know, I mean, I I commend WWE for like taking the effort to like still entertain us in this pandemic sort of scenario and i'm glad that we can all still group together and laugh at asuka no matter what happens but (laughs) she's a treasure (laughs) yes yeah (laughs) but i do feel bad like i was talking to cornell about this yesterday like i feel really bad for mcintyre you know like he's built his entire career up for this and you know 
he's supposed to be the main eventer of the biggest show, biggest pro wrestling show in the world. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's not going to be performing in front of a full crowd. He's going to be perform- performing in front of a bunch of empty seats. I mean, I also feel bad for uh, Rhea Ripley. Yeah. 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 First WrestleMania, big title match, first time in NXT championships being defended at Mania, and it's where she trades every day. And, and you know what else, too, is uh, that I don't think anybody's mentioned uh, this year's Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I don't think they're allowed to have that many people in the building. So <laughs> it's going to be, or it's going to be like the early, like, you know, wrestling video game thing where they had the Royal Rumble, but there's no more than like four people in the ring at any time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That, that would be. Why is this taking so long? It'd be I, I... really funny if it was like a social distancing battle royal. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like so once they got contest. within someone's airspace, they had to immediately eliminate themselves. I'm pretty sure TNA, like by accident, somehow or like inv- just... invented that like 14 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Let's have them all on the Zorby balls. Mm-hmm. Just bounce them like a human Zorby ball. Just bounce them all over. Well, you know what we could do. Them. You know what we could do. Turn the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Just turn it into World War Three. Get mm-hmm. three rings going. They've got seven rings. <laughs> same amount of me, you know? same amount of people. Yeah, I mean, uh, they they ain't gonna lose anything on the gate. No. Uh-uh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, ha- raise your raise your hand here. Oh, well, verbally raise your hand if you every time you look at that picture of the performance sh- center and the multiple rings, you thought World War Three. The paper. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. And even just that one shot is a better shot of all the rings than, <laughs> than they did. WCW like anything ever in that. did. Yeah, than WCW ever did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're seeing. I mean, we're seeing on some other productions. You know, you you, you watch something on on even television and be like, have, have these people ever shot pro wrestling before? Mm-hmm. And then you look back at WCW and realize, oh, this isn't a new concept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. uh, have you ever? Have you guys ever watched a World War Three back? Yeah, well, not oh, yeah. recently. It's, recently, it's, but a year, couple the years ago. The thing is with those two, it's like it's like yeah, it's impossible to see anything. But you really don't need to see anything. No, until no, no. Like Twenty minutes, and they had it. you know, it's like oh no, three... I missed I missed Mr. JL's elimination. You yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They had three... Jerry, Flynn, Jerry Flynn. Oh, I didn't know he got eliminated. You know, <laughs> hard body yeah, heroes. Damn they it! Had three different announced teams. Uh-huh. Yeah, and never talked to them about it. No, no. Oh, and um, <laughs> Tina's mentioning the Hall of Fame. I think I read somewhere that they're going to push the Hall of Fame to SummerSlam weekend. That that would make sense. I mean, you you can make you can make SummerSlam kind of a de facto WrestleMania at this point if if, if everything's clear by then, obviously. But I mean, that's in Boston. Is that a big arena up there, or what? Are, like, is that, uh, no. no, no, no. It's just like a Barclays <laughs> Center or something. Yeah, it's it's Boston. Oh, it's, it's Boston. <laughs> by the plus, way, plus I haven't. I mean. I haven't looked at the full list, but it, it seems like they've got so many more people going into the Hall of Fame this year than any other year, right? Really? It lo- I mean, it looks like because you've usually got like, oh, you you've got your faction, you've got maybe yeah. your one like your hillbilly Jim kind of you know legend. Hey, or Kobe hey, Ware. Hey, or you, hey, 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 whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah. No, don't get me on Kobe, but yeah, hillbilly Jim is a damn treasure. Okay, yeah. a damn treasure. But, that talks for like fifty minutes. You know. That's for him. Yeah. He's hillbilly, <laughs> and then you've got your. He's you've... hillbilly, fucking Jim. Then, He's allowed to. Yeah, at know. least it wasn't Larry Zabisco <laughs> saying the same San Martino story three times in the same speech. And then, and then you've That's also true. this year got Jushin Liger, right? Mm-hmm. The Bellas. Um, you got Davy Boy finally. The NWO. <laughs> okay. So it's like all these people that are good. Not even so much a lot of people, which there are a lot of people, but it's a lot of people that are going to talk. You know, it's not, it's not like, you, you know, like listen, a clear headliner. Listen, and, and Ponder brings us up after uh, uh, Brady leaves the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Won't Boston just be canceled as a city? Yeah. So, yeah, um, so Russell, so, so Boston's Tam- going to get Bay. canceled before SummerSlam hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tampa Bay loses WrestleMania, but they probably gain Tom Brady. So it's a wash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm so holding I, on. I, I, I was telling one of my friends, I'm like, well, you know, you don't have Tom Brady on the Patriots anymore, but at least you can watch Gronk on SmackDown. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm not like I'm, I, and I know some people in the chat room are. I'm not anti Gronk. I don't know. I, I have no. I also don't know any Gronk history or <laughs> Gronk Street or Gronk lore, um, as it were. So, um, 
I, so so I mean, I, I, what does he do in the ring? You know, is, is he going to look okay in there? That's what I'm. No, worried about. he's not. You remember Mongo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but ah, but okay. it seems like the ships kind of sailed too because they teased him what three years ago, right? Yeah, I think yeah. It was like three years ago, well, things happen, and it's the same thing. Like, listen, with- Gronk's got Gronk business apparently. Mm-hmm. Well, and Gronk's also uh, it up. spoiler alert: Gronk is the White Tiger on the Mass Singer. What? Yeah, he categorically is because another Fox one, show. One of one of the clues was he jumped in the ring to help a friend. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's fucking Gronk. So uh, mm-hmm. Daniel's in the chat room um, um, saying that WrestleMania could be postponed till June. No, and no, WWE no. has has unequivocally on Raw said WrestleMania will be the same date in the Performance Center. This yes. will be happening, and, yeah. and you got to think like, yes, we could postpone it. But you can't have the same storylines and matches just because storyline wise. Well, what if, what I if mean, they just rename it. Like if it's you know instead of WrestleMania, it's gonna be Battleground. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then the June you know pay per view that'll be. Oh, it's just like Battleground. Why was Battleground at, at, at the Buccaneers Stadium? Like, well, yeah. twenty twenty was a crazy year. They had, they had a concept for a pirate ship. Might as well use it. That's yeah. right. That's right. Can we, like we're going to use Which that. I really want to see, by the way. <sighs> like, are they going to reveal, like, this is what we were going to do or well, something? The, the, the Buck Stadium already has a pirate ship in it. No, I, I yes. want I want to know what their, like, entire thing would be for that stadium. Riz, they had no plan. They had, <laughs> they a had to have it. The only on. character... The only character that identifies as a pirate Paul still Birchall. is not booked. Talking about Paul Birchall? No, Kyrie Sane. Oh, oh yeah, still yeah, yeah. not booked. Which which va- I forget which casino has the the pirate stuff out in front of it. They, it wouldn't be the first time they did like a parking lot show at a, at a casino in Vegas. Uh, it was like Treasure Bay or something like that. Um, um he can sign. Mandalay no. Bay. Mandalay Bay. Mandalay Bay. Yeah. I think it was Manly Bay. I believe that's it. Is that is that an AEW spot? Maybe. Probably. It sounds familiar. Yeah, no, sure. no, they do MGM. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The old WCW stomping grounds. The MGM grand. You know what? AEW. While we're at it, not what we're doing now, but hey, if we're you know AEW brought back Bash in the Beach. They're going to apparently be doing war games whenever they have a crowd again. Um, you know, what, 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 just just give me a World War Three. Let's just go. Let's you go know, full tilt. You know what they're showing? They don't have a roster for World War Three. <laughs> Listen, they have the Indies, and they're not afraid to use it. Their show tomorrow night should be backstage assault. Yeah, just make <laughs> yeah. it happen. Uh-huh. You know, nowhere, it's just, nowhere near a ring. Are you ready for a two-hour edition of being the elite? Because that's what you're going to oh, get on Wednesday no, night. No, I know no, Mike is it. Right. I'm down with it. I'm okay I'm with it. I'm not down with it's it. All, it's all shot on cell phone cameras. No, you know, you know <laughs> what they should do to be really innovative? Mm. Have one episode without any fucking member of the Elite on it. By the way. But, that's everybody on AEW. Well, roster. that's like the no, most entertaining not. people that they have. It's so five I mean, people. Okay. All right. It's five people. Yeah. One but... show without those five people. Okay. I didn't have Seth Rollins, and guess what? We were okay. <sighs> We were okay. I'm, so we're, I'm not okay with a lot that's happening with that, wrestling. Now, I, I don't know. Now with this empty arena, WrestleMania oh, Bo- Bobby's is, correcting us. It's Treasure Island, not Mandalay. Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby is correcting but, us because his sister works at Mandalay Bay. Apparently, it's like there's no, he's like, no, he's like there's no damn, no. Like, there's no damn pirate ship. Well, you know what? Mandalay Bay should change its fucking name then because it sounds pretty pirate themed. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. <laughs> damn you, Mandalay Bay, <laughs> Rob. Yeah, I was gonna say with. With the the way these show, you know, like SmackDown and and Raw has been going, is WrestleMania going to be, you know, okay, it'll be like seven hours long or whatever, but is three hours of it going to be like matches from pay per views from the last four months? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I last don't know. year's main event, you know. <clears throat> the I, one, I, go ahead. The one thing I, I, going back to the subject, kind of, uh, the one, the one group of people that I'm really, really behind. And very upset about are the indie wrestlers. Yes, like not even the not even the wrestlers going there. I'm yeah. talking about <clears throat> you have you had um, Joey Janela probably that was going to probably do something anyways. Yeah, uh, but you had Effie's 
who had, who promoted the Brown. hell out of his show, which had our mm-hmm. which had our friends uh, Tyler Klein and and Calvin Couture on the show in a in yeah. a customs uh, coaching yeah. match with Joey Ryan and Effie, which like yeah. I just wanted to see what the hell that was going to be. Yeah, you know? and then you 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 would also get to see uh, Nick Gage in a bi curious battle royal, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. sweatpants battle royal. Uh, a- AIW's um, Thunder in Paradise. I yeah, mean, that, that was... you ha- I believe the <laughs> the uh, the great spot. Oh, what am I thinking of? The WrestleMania. What Eamon does. WrestleMania what? with Dan Housen and, and Warhouse yes. Warhorse. It was that was going to be amazing. The, the, uh, there was that one in te- about Texas in there as well. Yes, Inspire Pro was going to be a part Inspire, of that. Eamon was going to be was. there. Yep. Yep. Like all the. Uh, Faye, Faye Jackson have it, had her own uh, Gray Sweatpants Battle Royal yep, canceled. Yep, yep. Uh, everybody is being affected. And I know it's probably not solely based on WrestleMania canceling it, mm-hmm. but uh, I mean, it, it, it uh, no, no, no. Yeah, because I mean, it everything, everything, <clears throat> well, no, no, everything's canceled because uh, much like here in PA, um, I believe they have restricted events over right. so right. much. And I believe even nationally their their rec i heard a recommendation of no events over 10 yeah <laughs> so um that might be an issue for other things going on so uh i mean that yeah, that makes production on raw difficult for for, right. for you know so you definitely can't have anything like that and and i and i hope and i know the collective um wrestlecon is having issues um but i hope that in the long run these venues do not screw over good in- indie companies that are trying to do the right thing um and and so i i and there's already one because i think it is it the it is wrestlecon i believe i've seen with the yeah. marriott um mm-hmm. they were getting hit up for like one hundred fourteen thousand dollars in damages hundred forty seven thousand hundred forty seven thousand. okay yeah wow. uh bobby fj town just okay put it in the chat um so any and i know chris jericho was jumping on that bandwagon to help help them out but um make noise like uh, tell marriott like this is bullshit this is a uh extenuating circumstance and uh and especially since they're dealing with a big company like that like uh uh, uh joe's joe's uh uh a uh, concert venue in orlando is not going to give a crap unfortunately but uh still uh I, I, you know support if you hear aiw or somebody or effie or somebody is having an issue with this in the in the long run uh please please support them and and at least so they don't get screwed more than they already are uh on top of things is everybody from what i've heard so far has been pretty great about you know hey refund or carry over uh kind of situation uh so so but i mean honestly the wrestling companies it feels like have been better about this than corporate companies have been in mm-hmm. events from from what i've heard some people dealing with things already so so recognize that if somebody's doing great tell people about it so people can get behind that company if people have problems get behind that so you can support those companies and hopefully they don't get screwed in the end and is it i mean it's probably a little early in the game because they just within the last even couple days said hey mania is going to be at the performance center but has wwe mentioned anything about a make good or do they still have to wait out to see you know as far as Hey, well, you know, obviously it can't make good on like an 80, 90,000 stadium, but you know, I imagine mm-hmm. they would honor tickets to, you know, for whatever the next time they're in Tampa. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, like the, there's like uh, at that point, I mm-hmm. mean, granted it wouldn't be like a WrestleMania mm-hmm. you know, because they've even got that planned out for like next year. Like, you know, what do you think like anybody, like they try to run all these other shows um, around whatever the next, there's been, there's been word you know about I mean? like collective maybe still happening sometime in the summer. Yeah. But, but also, you got to remember, anybody saying, hey, we're going to be scheduled to June, like, yeah. w- w- this is all up in the air. Yeah, and it's like, like I mean, like it's probably too early to say, yeah, we're going to do it yeah. this date, that date, unless you're calling your shot for like next year. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, just be like, you, you can say a date in the future, because mm-hmm. literally nobody can say, we're doing this yeah. in two months, we're doing this in a month, because we because, don't know how things are going to develop. Because in two months, you're like, oh, wait, it's going to be another two months. Yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah. going to be another two mm-hmm. months. Yeah, so this is this, mm-hmm. this is a situation we're in, and but this is going to be an interesting to see if people get creative um and see what happens with that mm-hmm. so and speaking of get creative i want to uh, we're, we're going to talk about the uh, one way where we're getting creative here locally with kyle here kyle you're still there right i'm still here <laughs> uh, kyle, kyle before we get into that you got any thoughts on all this uh, craziness going on the empty arenas and stuff before we move on to our uh, ad break you know yeah i mean like it's just it's insane i mean there's no other word for it i mean i feel bad that all these shows are canceling 
like everywhere. And I mean, like even onto that, like Supercard of Honor is probably going to end up canceled as well. I don't know if they made uh, a statement. ROH, yeah. ROH has been canceled through the end of like May. May yeah. All of wow. their all of their shows. But yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I agree with everything that's happening. It sucks, nonetheless, because like sad to see. But I mean, hopefully everything gets better here soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, in the meantime, if you're looking for things to do, uh, we got a few things. If you've been, been man, I, I got to catch up with some stuff. And that's what I'm thinking about my wrestling. I'm going to catch up on some of those shows that I haven't been able to check out. Oh. And you can, too. And there's a lot of great stuff going on at IndieWrestling.us, Indie Wrestling Network. Uh, we have the the last shows in the Pittsburgh area <laughs> um, uh, that uh, are up there, Rise Wrestling and RWA from last week. Um, and we got, uh, I can assure you, we are working on more content for the network, for the YouTube, um, for you guys that do subscribe. Plus, there's that entire back catalog over 300 hours of content in there. We're probably going to pull some more back catalog from our uh, partners as well to fill that out. So you guys have plenty to watch. Of course, we do have your YouTube channel with a lot of uh, past stuff from many promotions in the Pittsburgh and Cle- uh, mostly the Pittsburgh areas. Um, so please go check out all of that stuff. IndieWrestling.network, IndieWrestling.us, uh, free seven-day trial. Uh, we have uh, Wrestles Bring a Tony. We're going to be probably rolling out a few more episodes of that because we have time to put that out right now. <laughs> so People have holes in their schedule. If people have holes in their schedules, and we're going to help fill those holes. Um, yeah, wow. yeah. Sorry, yikes. Sorry. Wow, sorry. balls and holes, man. What? Who said balls? It's from Deadpool. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, so go check that. And I, and we are actually recording something this weekend. Actually, um, that's going to be new content for the uh, Indie Wrestling Network. I didn't want to announce it yet, but it's kind of a. Uh, it, well, it's mostly well, it's confirmed, but. Uh, uh, title and stuff is still kind of being worked out. Some details. Is it villains with viruses? <laughs> Damn it! Ooh, jeez. <laughs> you got to keep these things under better wraps. <laughs> Stupid dirt sheets. <laughs> um, but no, go check out everything in wrestling us and support it, uh, all of our partners. Uh, uh, Rise uh uh 2 pw rwa premiere everybody along there um because you know a lot of great promotions and uh i think uh everybody's going to figure out a way to still kind of provide you something over this uh break uh for them until they can get back to shows uh so uh, uh keep an eye out i think it's gonna be interesting speaking of ways to uh create alternatives in this environment kyle i know of course, Pit Fight, uh, we were hoping to be talking about uh, what was going on and going into the main show. Um, you were you you guys were kind of the first victims of everything going on here because you guys went down along with the schools when they started okay. shutting down uh, early last week, correct? Yeah, I, it, it was just like a freak thing because like, I got an email and like it was right when I woke up and I saw it and they're like, oh, we're moving all the classes online and stuff. You guys got to come get your stuff like now and leave mm-hmm. was essentially how... It, it was worded nicer than that, but it, that, that's what they were telling us. So I called my advisor for the club. I'm like, so Pit Fight canceled then? And she's like, yeah, we're going to have to cancel. I'm like, damn it. Because I got to give it to my team this year. Like, you know, the shows in the past we've done were awesome. And like everything we did was great. And the rest of the we have were awesome. But this show in particular, like we were all looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Like the card was great. And we tried to expand more as a club this year um we did a lot of stuff like in the community we did some community service we partnered with some like local businesses to raise money for them and the club as well so yeah it 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 sucked when we heard the news but this alternative is also i think it'd be pretty fun so (laughs) uh so yeah so what i heard about the and we were we were intending to be there to help support in any way we could we didn't know i don't think at the time we even knew you know if i was going to do a live podcast i was hoping to talk to you about that this week i guess (laughs) so um but uh we we kept so with the cancellation i had actually almost just hit up some of our partners we're doing stuff about doing a video game night and i was like hey why don't we just invite the roster of pit fight Come on down here to the studio. We've been doing um, Bohemoth Invitationals. Like I was just mentioning at the top of the show. Uh, Riz uh, and I played some video games. You guys, and we have done, um, and, and I don't think you know this, Kyle, we've done five years of uh, Chachi Plays for Kids uh, with oh, our wow. partners, the Toonzeum, uh, when they were downtown, where we raised uh, uh, several thousand dollars for arts programs in the city uh for for kids and um so so we've done this a little bit and i was like hey let's do a video game stream same time that everybody would have expected to be going out for your show this friday right mm-hmm. so. yeah and I, 
I think that's awesome. I mean, me and Cornell are huge gamers to begin with. There's actually a club on campus that we team with a lot called Nerd Fighters. Nice. I'm the vice president for that too. Nice. Um, and that's and I was talking to him about Cornell is so competitive with like every game that we play. Um, <laughs> we've been playing Injustice and Mortal Kombat for like two years, and that's where like we kind of, I know we kind of talked about like doing a tournament, and we're pretty excited for it, and we're excited to raise money for Connor's gear in the long run for it as well. Excellent. So we're going to be doing that again. The guys can't get out there and, and wrestle in front of you, uh, you guys, um, but I'm, I'm hoping we have some fun. I, I know we've had a lot of tournaments and, and uh, uh, the wrestlers kind of getting each other at each other on these uh, live streams. So I'm hoping we can have some fun with that here Friday night. We're, we're aiming for probably about an eight o'clock start more or less as we get people set up. We'll see. We'll see how everything goes with everybody showing up and setting up brackets and everything. And, uh, and like I said, we're, we're going to, we're probably going to pull, it was probably Injustice. We have Injustice 2, Mortal Kombat 10 in-house here, so we can probably do something fun with that then. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we also have, uh, if you guys are interested in, in donating uh, in advance, um, there's a donation page. We dropped it in the chat room for you guys here live, and we'll put it in the show notes as well. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Again, it's just a, kind of an awareness, and it's for Connor's Cure. Uh, you guys as wrestling fans are familiar with that. Uh, <laughs> I hope, especially here in Pittsburgh, of course. Like you heard about it once or twice. Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> so it's it's that point as in Pittsburgh when you're at the live show and they play it during the break and everybody cries. Um, but <laughs> no, a great thing. And you guys, so this is your third event, and and I, I I I when you were talking about things, you got I didn't realize the figure of what you guys had raised for Connor's Cure over the last a uh, uh, couple of uh, years doing this. Yeah, it, it's kind of crazy to look at. Um, so for our first show, we raised about a little over $1,500. And the last one, even with it being on a Tuesday and everything, mm-hmm. we still raised about $900. Nice. So we have about 2400 total. Me and Cornell set the goal. We want to raise 10000 before we graduate. So we're, we probably both graduate around next spring. So we're pushing for it. We're, we're going to see <laughs> if we can make, make these shows a little bit bigger now, especially since um, we'll have to probably set a whole new budget for the next one and try to figure it out with Al, mm-hmm. who is who's like the director of student services and everything. So maybe in the fall, we're going to even have a bigger show than what we usually put on. So, hey, you got to make up for the lost time, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and Pit Fight becomes a seven-hour WrestleMania-style yeah. event. <laughs> Twelve-hour pre-show. Are you ready for the Bobcat ba- the Bobcat Memorial Battle Royal? <laughs> With 100 people. With it's 100 like, people. It's like, why is Flo Rida here? <laughs> <laughs> He'll show up anywhere. Yeah, yeah it's just... It's like wow, we got Pitbull. Yeah. We got Pitbull. We got Matt Light. That's, he doesn't. <laughs> you know, that's that's who I feel sorry for with this whole WrestleMania thing. What it's Pitbull? Like, no, like Florida's one like big money gig of the year. <laughs> and in, in Florida. Florida, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, oh, oh. Poor guy. Um. So I mean, we talked about Kyle last time you and Cordell were on. Uh, 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 you know, you guys are kind of um, um, budding uh, wrestling promoters. This is a school club that you guys do. Uh, of course, your dad being in, in pro wrestling got a little bit of guidance there uh, mm-hmm. as well. So two shows under your belt. Um, we talked to you at the last show. Uh, uh, what is what is the biggest lesson you've learned? And now, hey, you've kind of gone full circle. You even got the show cancellation to contend with. So <laughs> you got you're getting the full experience here. But what's your biggest takeaway being a uh, 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 a new wrestling promoter uh, at this point? I think the biggest thing that I've learned is like just to kind of be flexible about stuff because like. You know, going into this, like, I had no idea how to book a match at mm-hmm. all. It, it, like, it, it was hard. So, like, you know, I learned a lot of stuff. And a lot of people, like, I, I'd shoot an idea and be like, hey, I want to do this. And sometimes we'd be like, hey, that's awesome. And then sometimes we'd be like, that sucks. We're not doing that. Mm-hmm. So, and even, like, like the day of the show last year, we had, like, a bunch of cancellations and stuff. And, like, just trying to figure out what to do on top of that. And even with, like, the show now, just, like, trying to rally everybody that yeah, everything's like going to be cool and stuff and that, you know, it sucks that our show was canceled this time, but we just got to kick more ass next time. Absolutely. So I was going to say the first, when was the first one? That was about a year. Uh, that was a, that was a year ago right? now, right? Yeah. Cause I'm trying yeah. to remember. Cause that was like, I was going to go, but I didn't, but I was trying to remember if it was like a weather thing or 
why, uh, you know, like you said, you had some cancellations. I think we might have had a double booking or something for the first one because I didn't make the first one either. Yeah. And then we came for the second one was on a Tuesday because I was uh, going to like go up with Dombrowski or something. Like yeah, that. But yeah. For some reason, yeah. either I was sick. And, or, and that's the other thing, like, weather thing or what. And you guys are working with. I know. I know. It looked like you had a good conversation with with uh, some of the guys that have been around a while. So you're. you're it looks like you might be learning a, little, a thing or two from a, a few of the vets in the area. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, I talked to Dombrowski a lot about last show. Marshall was always, I run everything by him before I do anything. And like Brandon Kays, uh, he does a big role as well. He usually runs the locker room for the shows. And I've learned a thing or two from him as well. And my dad's always here to back me up. He I, Obviously, he has a bunch of experience. QB Blitz, for those of you who don't know who my dad is. But, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I, I've had a lot of people give me advice about what to do. And I take it to heart. Like every time I try to make every show better than the last one and, you know, just trying to put us on the map for Greensburg wrestling. That's right. Um, so looking forward to that. And of course, like I said, we'll be live here on uh, all of our indie wrestling that us. Uh, we'll probably throw on mayhem show streams as well. It's for charity. We'll put it everywhere. We're going to make sure you guys can't miss it <laughs> wherever you may be. And of course it'll be for a good cause. And we'll have some fun here. We'll have some fun playing some video games and uh, but but keeping our distance from each other. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll, we'll practice safe gaming uh, when we do this. Um, Sanitize after every match. What's that? Sanitize after every match. That's right. You're just gonna wipe down every controller afterwards because it gets sweaty. Um, Mask, hmm. Masks for everyone. By the way, I got, we got an update. We got a WrestleMania update. Bobby F J Town. Um, uh, he's essential uh, personnel to WrestleMania. He'll be at the PC. You can't have WrestleMania in Florida without Flo Rida, no matter where it is in Florida. Just putting that out there. They Bobby's got the got the download that on this. Provided Welcome the soundtrack to, to the performance home. center. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I was like, why does everybody have to perform to, to Flow Rider except Triple H? Because all he listens to is uh, is uh, uh, Lemmy. Skulls so. and Latin. Yeah. Skulls, skulls and Latin. So. Say, has anybody <laughs> checked in with Kid Rock lately? <laughs> oh yes, he's refusing. <laughs> he's refusing to shut down his bar in Nashville. Oh, okay. Because he because he considers it unconstitutional. <laughs> um, <laughs> whatever. Okay. All right, Kid Rock. Uh, by the way, I've been to that bar. It's it's a Kid Rock bar. Yeah, it was actually kind of cool to see the American Badass Giant stage set. You're like, I get it. You know, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. I no no, I I, I get this. Yeah. I get this. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was more it was more Baba to Baba than the country stuff. So yeah. you know, to me, <laughs> you know, I was cool with that. You know, because I'm more of a Baba to Baba Kid Rock fan than a um take me home country right whatever the f- whatever Photogra- whatever the hell is. Yeah, i don't remember. know photograph no that was nickelback no it's, it's creed no what are you no. thinking it's so weird like I, I didn't feel... he do a song with cheryl crow yeah and it, but, but it's like <laughs> or picture or something i forget it had something to do with but i i for some reason i thought i remembered kid rock's kind of career yeah you know, like his high his peak being more stretched out but no it was over here <laughs> no, no, no no i mean not over, no 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 no, 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 no it just years. felt but, longer but no i mean he, he, he did a lot over like four or five years or whatever you know, yes like went yes. from white guy rapper to you know the country thing within a span of like five years mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh yeah oh yeah it, it was, was it was I, quick he hit every genre it seems so mm-hmm. like real quick you see early stuff like the rap or like like fade he, he did a Kid song rock. with cheryl crow yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, i'm trying to remember what the hell that picture was. it was yeah, just was picture it, yeah. i okay. saw your picture today yeah sat down and cried today wow yeah, wow that's gonna get pulled off. no stop you're gonna get pulled off youtube i just know it exists i just can't remember what how the hell it went i can't say i oh, enjoyed that, it that is that is how it went <laughs> and now bobby's thing i have room. perfect pitch <laughs> You're about as good of a crooner as as Kid Rock, because <laughs> <laughs> that's what we all know him for. Is is his? Uh, I saw some. I this seemed real. This tone. this seemed like a serious post that I could tell by the tone about Limp Biscuit for Hall of Fame. Yeah, I hey, found that you know what? his favorite band you know what? again. It's Florida. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's from that's that's where Fred. Durst oh, is, is he? From. Yeah, that, that's... Fred Durst was a character in a WWE. Yeah. Video. That's like, yeah. I, Okay. All right. We've we have people in for less. Did did he shut his mouth or did he know his role? I forget which, which <laughs> SmackDown he was in. Um, he he was shut your mouth. Okay. Because yeah, shut your mouth. Where the oh, fuck you at, punk? Shut the fuck up and back the fuck up. Let me double check. Is that kid in bed? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I I made sure the kid. Okay. Was okay. Is the kid familiar with the back catalog of Kid Rock? Uh, <laughs> so. And or Fred uh, Durst. Not- Posed him to the back catalog of Kid Rock. Ben and I mostly focus on, uh, you know, like uh, Notorious P.I.G., Tupac Shakur. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Never real classics. Although I, I would like to hear music. Early in the 90s is, is right in the wheelhouse. Jen and I just stopped listening to the music after that anyway. So. Okay. Uh, what was that, Mike? I would like to hear Mason's rendition of Ba with the Ba at some point during the quarantine times. I'll see what I can do for you. Just, just for me, personally. Is that one of the songs you can, like, wash your hands to? <laughs> <laughs> ba with the ba, ba, the bang, the bang. I mean, you start washing up, your hands. Up comes the boogie. Yeah, you exactly. start washing your hands, and then after you're done, you realize you're just dirtier than you were before. <laughs> you just kind of need to wash your brain after that. <laughs> I love, I love see, yeah, I take a shower. <laughs> you, you see this like a silk witch. So shower. the meme, the meme is like a song to washing your hands. But one was was the uh, shock, the the shock to system did, song for uh, yeah. the uh, undisputed era. Did, did you see the one I put? Um, it was uh, "Body Counts in the House" by Body Count, <laughs> which is by Ice T. Yeah, uh-huh. it's a metal band. It's literally just "Body Count, Body Count, Body Count, Body Count." <laughs> Body counts in the hat, but for like six minutes. <laughs> yeah, I mean that would be good. So order one. Mine will be spend my day working hard for oh, the dough, no. put the hand on the. Cup. Oh no, not Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, no. not yeah. the Rudy and Jeff Jarrett. My baby tonight. I will. I think it's a little weird singing with my baby tonight with your hands. Mm. Hey, so no, some some people yeah. don't have the other option. Listen, man, it's going to be I a mean, long quarantine for some people more than others. Mm. Yeah, hot tip. It's a long quarantine. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Sorg, I've only been working from home for a day. I'm already I'm going crazy. Yeah, Same people are here. like one two days, and people will work at home. It's less like you, you, why are you why how did you how does some of you grow out five o'clock sh- like I, like a, a week a week uh, growth in facial hair in two days? I've What's been, going on? I've been out of work Sometime. for like a day, or- and I I've lost all all you know kind of concept of time and space. Uh, Mike, are you at least changing your sweatpants from day to day? Sorg. Riz, you too. I was going to say, I was going to say, I know who you're talking to. Pants. Uh, but, wait, hold on. Pants <laughs> are optional. Okay. All right. Uh, Matt, Matt Carlins. <laughs> Matt Carlins. You, you have been, you've been homebound for much longer than everybody else. So you're the expert here, right? Oh, you're, you're muted. There you are. <laughs> Oh, they got uh, a Jen Carlin's uh, uh, drive-by. Uh, right now we really have to watch our Matt, language. Matt, do you do you have some some at-home tips for uh, the the newly at-home uh, work from homers uh, going going on right now? Well, I can only speak from my own personal experience, but I'm here to tell you it's not the staying at home that makes you crazy; it's the kids being at home all day that makes you crazy. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. So that's that's, that's, that's the tip. You know, I don't when know you're doing you know the wife, it's great. You just you know hang out. And um, but once the children are around, then you know things get dramatically more difficult to uh, you go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm the same one. She goes crazy every night. Like she's making, out she's, she's making gestures. Oh, you. Thing. Like you know what? What did you yell at me about today? You can't even remember. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna yell at me something later. I'll be like, that wasn't my fault. I don't care. Ah! So you're pulling a Snitsky? I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. It wasn't By the way, it brings up a good point about Snitsky. Sword. Wow. The first time that's been uttered. <laughs> SVR don't, 2K. Don't say, don't say his name three times or else he'll just appear. That's the game we played, correct? Uh, it was uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. 2008. That we played. I forgot how much of a thumb Snitsy looked like. <laughs> <laughs> a human thumb. Oh mm-hmm. no. Oh no. Yep. Yep. Oh, these microphones smell so clean right now. <laughs> Anyways, hi. Uh what the hell is happening? Wow. Uh, you know or, what? I need sorry, a break. Don't sniff the mics. <sighs> there you go. It's touching my face. I touched my face with the mic. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Mm. Oh, it's getting weird. Another weird. one of that. Chocolate rain. You move your mouth away from the mic to breathe. Chocolate rain. 
Wash your hands for 20 seconds now. Chocolate rain. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You uh, remember that? Uh, yeah, I remember that. It, I remember it that. was a thing. I think a chocolate rain. I think we had a guest on the awesome cast who did a song with him, actually. Tayson Day. Yeah, nice. yeah. Walt Ribeiro, I think, did something with him at one point because he was doing. God, I didn't catch up with that dude. I haven't heard from him for a couple I, of years. I, by the way, uh, this is an actual tip for if you're quarantined. Um, sit down with a friend or significant other. Mm hmm. And or a significant you, friend, or a significant friend, or some, or, or if, some other friend, or <laughs> or make a new friend. Okay, sit down with someone. Go to your nearest smart TV, mm -hmm. and each of you try and think of the most obscure YouTube clip that you can remember from your childhoods or from your college days. No, because uh, my fiance had never heard of Chocolate Rain. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, this is going oh, a little too far that back. Was, that was, that was an experience. Man, you were in you know, you know, back when we were in college, man. Good times. I was going to say, what qualified as a viral video in 1995? <laughs> hey, don't say viral, all right? It's too soon. I, the, for me, it was like uh, Flash animations on uh, uh, on uh, uh, under, uh, New Underground? New Ground. New Grounds. New Grounds, new grounds yeah. I which I was just on, by the way, which is it's weird. It's still a thing? Wow. It's still a thing. Doesn't look like anything like it looked before. Yeah, that's right. I think it's more of a video site last I checked into there. So I'm sorry. Um, well, we're making Kyle feel young. <laughs> uh, but anyways, all right. I, I need a break. So, so in the meantime, hey, you know what, guys? You know what goes good with a great quarantine? The hell? <laughs> What sort? Supporting your local pizzerias. Supporting your local local pizzerias. They're still open. You can't go visit them and have a seat and watch the train go by, but you can sit out front and wait for your pizza while the train goes by at uh, Slice on Broadway at SliceOnBroadway.com. I got a loose cable in here. Hold what on, the I hell is going it. on? Loose it. cannon. It's, it's madness. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Josh Brolin is loose. Josh Brolin yeah. is loose. I'm just going to hold my finger here so you can still see me. And then nope, there it's going. Um, Ooh, and nice. okay, there, there it is. Got it. Slice on Broadway, ooh, Beachview, Carnegie, East End, PNC Park. I'm dark. I'm very dark. We're just going to a wide shot here. Uh, go check it out. Sliceonbroadway.com. PGH underscore slice on the Twitter. Uh, it's uh, the you, you please support. You know, if it's Slice on Broadway here in the Pittsburgh area, if it's um, if it's you know whatever your local eatery is, please support them in this time. If you are able to, of course, a lot of people are going through a lot of different things, and uh, if you're able to support things, uh, uh, especially your local eateries. Uh, to make sure they get through this tough time because we're all getting through this together, you know, whether it be supporting each other emotionally through podcasts or our friends in the food industry uh, and, and Rob. I, Rob's giving the fist pump over there. <laughs> so uh, go check them out, sliceonbroadway.com, and let them know the Mayhem Show sent you. We are going to take a quick break and be right back with Mayhem Mania. Get that wheel ready. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Hey everyone, this is Showtime Eric Young from TNA, or not that wrestling on Spike TV. You're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Radio Show. Matt is with us. I we can hear him now. You were just ignoring me. You actually no. couldn't hear me. I was in here. Yeah, we can hear you. Talking about NXT, and you were no, like, all oh, 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 oh. of the internets are interconnected and mm. and so quick, there and ready to go as quick, mainstream Matt, the proprietary mainstream mania Matt has joined us. The big board is out, and we are ready to go with Mayhem Mania. You know, these are desperate times, Sorg, when we have to bring back the big board. Um, you may or may not be able to read these words, but I can, and that's all that matters. This is more for my purposes than yours. It's not for me. It's it's for me. It's not for you. Uh, this is Mayhem Mania. It is kind of a competitive thought experiment. The goal is to create the best WrestleMania card possible under the um, assumption that for this, there will actually be fans in the stands watching it as well. So we'll look at the circumstances. Um, for uh, for our own uh, for ten WrestleMania, but we must use um, the individuals that we choose to book come in their current contractual, physical, emotional, pharmacological, etc. state. 
So um, if somebody's hurt, you can't use them. If someone signed with another company, you can't use them. I don't know why I'm going through all these rules because we've got a veritable all-star lineup here uh, for the uh, for the go-home to Patreon in the bank, which is coming up next week. And we are going to get down and dirty here with uh, what we've got going on. Um, we've got an eight-match card that we're working on here. If a match survives for three consecutive weeks without being altered in any way by one of our players, it graduates to the super card. And so far, Sorgi, we have three matches that have graduated mm-hmm. to the super card. Would you like me to run through them real quick? Yes, right sir. Now? I'll yeah. pull the graphics here. Right. This is the best we've got. Ready to go? I think so. Hold on. I'm finding them. Where's the graduated ones? Right at the top? Okay. Yep. Go ahead. Here we go. All right. Mia Yim and Kaylee Ray and Tegan Knox versus Asuka and Kyrie Sane and Io Shirai, created by Tina Keys. Edge versus Matt Riddle, created by. Wait. Chad the Shad. <laughs> and Bianca Belair versus Jazz, also created by Tina Keys, because she's good at this game, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Um, we. Um, are going to have our uh, five players start to, uh, to make one change each to um, the eight undermatch cards. You can uh, take out a match entirely, bring in a new match with entirely new people. You can get rid of one person, bring in another person. Uh, you can swap one for one within the card, get rid of one, bring in a tag team, add an extra person to a match here or there if you want. Um, there is some flexibility, but there are also are rules, hard, fast rules, which cannot be strayed from, um, unless, you know, I feel like it. Uh, tonight, our players will be, like I said, we've got an all-star lineup here. Uh, first up is going to be The Riz. Then it's going to be Mad Mike. Then it's going to be Rob. Then it's going to be Bobby. And then Kyle gets to bat cleanup because he is our special guest. Um, Sorg, um, I must remind everyone that you can't use everybody in addition to those who would be kind of off-limits to Vince McMahon if you wanted to use them for his WrestleMania this year. Uh, there are also... Um, a group of individuals who are locked away in a little something we like to call space jail. Um, They have found their way into space jail one way or another. Honestly, I've forgotten who's on the wheel. The wheel is there with you. Uh, Would you please ask um, either you or Rob to go through the names on the wheel, and then we will spin the wheel and see if anyone on the wheel will escape space jail and uh, become eligible once again to be used in Mayhem Mania. All right. So, last week? so Rob, who's yeah. who's on the list? Okay. The, well, we're getting, we're getting some move for we got getting some movement from somebody out there in Hangout Land. So Ooh. please please check your mutes. Okay. All right, Rob, who's on the wheel? On the wheel. On the wheel. Uh, wheel. Uh, kind of left to right here. Yes. Uh, we've got Randy Orton. Okay. Uh, we have Goldberg. Mm-hmm. Ronda Rousey. Mm-hmm. Triple H. Bailey and Sasha Banks. And it's all kind of if it lands anywhere on that side of the wheel, it's it's, it's bound you're to good to go. Somebody. You're good to go. Okay, all right. So can you can you level the wheel? And there we go. There we go. Okay. And spin the wheel. That's the sound. And nothing. 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 Right. Nobody That's has escaped good. Space Jam. Well, that they want to stay in there because they're all quarantined, sir. That's right. It's That's there, right. Everybody's it's probably safe. safer this Everybody's way. Everybody's safe. I don't know. Somebody. I oh, really want to see does that mean? Though, does that, that mean we can use vacant now? Can we call it the social distancing zone now? <laughs> does that mean we can use vacant? No, uh, I'm not going to different. acknowledge either of those questions. Okay. Uh, but thanks for contributing. Uh, the Riz, you will be up in a second. Sorg, let's yes. run through the card, uh, our quote unquote undercard here, real Absolutely. quick. Absolutely. Uh, um, first up, we have. Oh, no. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Uh, John Morrison versus Jordan Devlin versus Joaquin Wild versus Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Ricochet, created by Lee Johnson. Samoa Joe versus Pete Dune, created by Farnsworth. Uh, AJ Styles versus Adam Cole, created by Heel Bradley. Legero versus Sami Zayn, created by Alex Cars. Big E Langston, there's a distinction there, versus Keith Lee, created by Marcus Mann. Walter, all caps, versus Drew McIntyre, created by Tina Keys. Finn Balor versus Alistair Black, created by our friend Brandon in KC. And finally, 
Reverend <laughs> Devon and Deacon Batista versus Paul London and the Brian Kendrick, created by the Country Hammer, Jamie Jameson. I love it. All right. Hell of a card. Hell of a card. Hell of a card. Riz, let's get yes. to work. Mad Mike, you're on deck. Okay. So I really want this match to happen, whether it be here on Mayhem Mania or somewhere down the line. See that see that Samoa Joe right there? This Samoa Joe? That just, just just take him off. Oh. What was it? He got who? Wow. So it's gonna be Pete Dune against Shinsuke Nakamura. Joe and Pete Dunn. Sorry. Joe and Pete Dunn. Okay. It took okay. one of my people. It was Joe and okay. Pete Dunn. Okay. I am amazed that I did that. Oh, man. Boy, my penmanship stinks. All right. Uh, Mad Mike, you are up. Rob, you are on deck. Welcome okay. back, Mad Mike. Thank you. Back to the um, game. I mean, if you want, you can change that match. and then, then No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that, Riz, because – then... <clears throat> so, so last week I said I had something that I wanted to do with the Reverend Diva and Deacon Batista match. Um, that was before the round was over. Oh, no. And um, I, I realized something. Matt, you, you know me. I, I've played this game a long time. I rarely use the swap option. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But I am going to do that this time. And I'm going to swap Mr. Drew McIntyre with Mr. Biggie Langston. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Okay. No, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, no, I'm sorry. I fucked it up. Uh, I'm swapping Drew with... um. Hold on. I'm swapping Drew with... Keith Lee. Sorry. Okay. Drew. Keith Lee. Swap. So it's Walter versus Keith Lee, the one you wanted anyways. Yes. Biggie <coughs> Langston versus Drew McIntyre. Both solid matchups. Wow. Really Boom. Kobe. All right. Good job. Yes. Um, <laughs> Big meaty men slapping meat. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's Rob, you're up. Bobby, you're on deck. Okay. That kind of changed my plan, but just a little bit. Let's see. Because what is it? It's it's Biggie and who now? It's, it's Biggie, Biggie and Drew. Biggie and Drew Biggie McIntyre. And Drew. Okay. And then Biggie Langston. And then the I other, must. The other one got switched to what? It Walter was. versus Keith Lee. Walter versus Keith Lee. Okay. I wanted to. Bring back Samoa Joe and plug it into that Walter and Keith Lee. First God damn it! Oh my God! This wow. happens every <laughs> single. What does Joe keep getting the axe or something or what? No, or, I or has that match just, happened? No, I every single time <laughs> I've had a turn on Mayhem Mania, I just want to <laughs> make this one fucking match. By the way, on audio, I, I was. By the way, on audio, Matt Matt is straight up face palming. Matt, stop touching your face. Because <laughs> I was gonna just put Joe back in with the Biggie and Walter, because I want to see <laughs> Joe and Walter. You okay over there, Matt? Like Matt's not okay. Matt, are you okay? <laughs> Matt, you know, Matt, know what? I, I don't, you know, I, for those of you who follow the lore, you know, I rarely, if ever, feel even a smidgen of guilt or, or empathy toward Mad Mike. But in this <laughs> moment right now, Mad Mike, I feel bad for you. I Wait, only tried to do one thing. <laughs> one thing. This, no, is he this year another, for Mayhem um, Mania. Alex Carr's role here? Oh, no. Yes, I get, I get the Alex matter. Carr's role. I get the Alex Cars rule on Patreon in the bank week. You, so we should just after everyone it. goes. Alex Cars rule. I, I really don't think I can even involve it in Patreon. In the oh, 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 no, no, no. You know, I, I, there's not enough time to discuss that here, but we might have enough time to talk about that. I am a super manager. They have mania. I am a super manager. You know what? I'm gonna have to consult with Farnsworth. He outranks you. Oh, I'll go with and, uh, ten extra dollars. Back to you on that. <sighs> All right. right. Anyway, um, you, you're just changing the rules, Matt. You're just changing the rules. That's kind of the name of the game. Very, the rules on this are very clear. 
The rules clear. on Alice Curry's rule are, are, are they? very clear. The are rules they? are very clear. Are they? Um, oh, Rob, oh man. That. Uh, Bobby, oh, you're up. Kyle, you're on deck. Society is breaking down. All right. So many people Riz, on my shit list right now. Riz threw a wrench the, the into my plan. The apocalypse has come to mayhem mania. Yeah. <laughs> Riz so threw a wrench people. into my plan, but I got a pinch hitter here. Um, take off Finn Balor versus Aleister Black. The whole Ooh, thing. Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. Thing. whoa. Good. Whoa. Big moves. We're doing Big a, moves. We're doing a trios match. Okay. Trios. Ooh. Trios match. Uh-oh. It is oh, going to be. That's going to need a new whole thing. The, yeah. The team of. Akira Tozawa. Hmm. Okay. Kushida. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. And the American Dragon Daniel Bryan. Okay. <laughs> versus Angel Garza. Uh -huh. Andrade. Oh no. Mm -hmm. And Jorge Bali, also known as King Cuerno. What? I'm just He's in King NXT. Cuerno. Yep. Yeah. No, Sorg, that was the guy you saw in the uh in that dark match. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. Oh. Yeah. So that's my match. It would have been Nakamura right. instead of Tozawa. Wow. Thanks, Riz. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Love it. Good job, Bobby. Thanks for coming in strong on that one. All right, Kyle. Hey, hold on, roll, 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 roll back for a second. Uh Mike, did you say that I saw King Cuerno in the yeah. dark match? Yeah, Jorge Bali. He was yeah, together, he was together, together to win. Wow! I wish I paid yeah, more attention to that up. match. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was just seeing what DJZ was doing. He did a cool flippy thing, but as he does, as he does. Anyways, go back. To uh, Kyle, welcome back. This is not your first rodeo. Correct. Yeah, uh, second time. You should have no problem with this. Were you the one who sent? Who, who, who sent Charlotte Flair to Space Jail last year? One of you pit fight guys did that last year. Yeah, that was year. my buddy Sam. I do remember that. Sam, out of nowhere. That was crazy. That was a good moment, too. But you guys all did a great job. So let's get at it, Kyle. Let's see what we can do here. All right. So I actually got my plans messed up, too, because I was going to swap Balor and Walter at first, but I can't do that. Oh. Hmm. So, so here's what I'm going to do. So that match with Styles and Cole, we're going we're gonna to add to that, and we're going to put – Demon King Finn Balor and Alistair Black in that. I can only let you add one. Oh, I can only add one? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do Balor then. We'll do a little Bullet Club thing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bullet Club leaders. Okay. I'm with that. that. In, Bull in Bullet Club mythology, Adam Cole is dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's a ghost. Okay. All right. Well, we have right, Demon King Balor and Ghost go Adam Cole. <laughs> Ghost Adam Cole, yeah. All right, here we go. go. Uh, let's recap what we got here for you guys. Uh, yeah, that's right. Reverend D. Vaughn and Deacon Batista versus Paul London and D. Brian Kendrick. We've got Akira Tazawa and Kushida and Daniel Bryan versus Angel Garza, Andrade, and the former King Cuerno, whose name I am not in Jorge Bali. Jorge Bali. Walter, all caps, versus... Samoa Joe. Big E Langston versus Drew McIntyre. Hey, hold on. Hold on. No, was, no, 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 no. Samoa no, no, Joe no, no, and no. Keith Lee was in there, too. Samoa Joe and Keith Lee. Uh oh. Wait, what? Oh, Keith oh. Lee. He was, yeah. Okay. He was swapped. Big, e, Big E versus Drew McIntyre. No. No, Keith... you swapped Drew McIntyre down here. <laughs> yeah. Keith yeah. Yeah. Lee was brought up here, and then yeah. Keith Lee was kicked out. No, 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 no. Who's on first? Yeah. He, he was added. added. He was just added. It was a triple threat. Oh! Yeah. Oh, this never Come happened. Come on, Matt. Keep it together. Matt. Shut up. No, Matt was already, he was already excited to take away the Alex Cars rule from me that he was, ne that he was dead or no reckoning Oof. Yeah. Yeah, because it was the Keith Lee, Walter... We can't, Joe, none Joe. of us can actually read the board with your internet connection, yeah. so so we can't check your work. <laughs> it's easier this way, trust me. <laughs> oh, and then it was oh. Biggie and McIntyre. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, that, that's it. That's good. No worries. Um, Walter versus Samoa Joe versus Keith Lee. Biggie Langston versus Drew McIntyre. Legero versus Sami Zayn. AJ Styles versus the Ghost of Adam Cole versus Finn Balor. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Pete Dunne, and finally 
John Morrison versus Jordan Devlin versus Joaquin Wild versus Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Ricochet. Next week, Sorg, is Patreon in the bank. Chaos. <sighs> and and sad. I don't and know how we're going to do this, but this chat room might overflow. So and, we'll see what happens. Mm, and everyone who is a Patreon supporter of the Wrestling Mayhem show will receive an invitation from me to come and participate either themselves or the proxy in Patreon in the bank. Uh, and things are going to get wild. We're going to add oh stipulations. God. Oh, my God. We're going to get to add special referees. And, oh, well, and we're into it here. Oh, hey. And on, and on top of that, you know who our guest is tomorrow or next week? Who? Xander Gabriel. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, hey, Matt. What match what? is, you know, uh, acceptable since last week? What? Last week, wasn't there a match that was available now? I'm not oh, following. Yeah. yeah, it escaped. Jail. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. right. Um, the We All See stipulation is in play <laughs> for Patreon in the bank. <laughs> It'd be great. I, I, just, and, I um, just can't get anything I want. It's and okay. um, I don't know so what to another. Wait, we have another graduated match. What? And I will reveal what it is on Talking Mayhem Mania. I dropped the pen. He dropped his pen. He dropped his pen. Back to you. Back to me. Uh, and, and the Alex Cars will next. All right. All right. Uh, and well, well, we'll sort all that out later on Talking uh, Mayhem Mania. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen. Well, hey, I was going. I was going to by default uh, plug PittsburghWrestling.com, but never mind. There's no shows. Uh, the forecast <laughs> is bleak. <laughs> What's that? There is an ad in there. Is there an ad for me to do? It's not PittsburghWrestling.com by default. Hey guys, there's a lot of stuff going on, and uh, if you are. If uh, if you're looking for options to help you connect during this uh, COVID-19 self-quarantine situation, uh, please uh, check out our friends in-house here at SidekickMediaServices.com. We have you covered with live stream options from wrestling events to church services. We actually set one up out there in West Virginia, uh, and I'm sure they're really glad they have that option right now uh, with their elderly pop population uh, from wrestling events. Uh, I read that part. Teleconferencing everywhere in between. Uh, we got you covered with streaming options and help you as your, as your sidekick to your superhero project and what next big thing we can help you with. Go check out uh, what's going on over there. Some of the stuff we've been working on. We've actually been doing some Instagram videos today. So, uh, the, so working on those uh, with one of our newer clients and uh, podcasts are still rolling along as they are with this show. And go check it out, psychicmediaservices.com. With that, man, I, this is going to be interesting. What we go? So it's going to be fun because we're going to see what all the rest of the shows do without an audience. Mm. Maybe not Ring of Honor right away, but uh, at least AEW and AEW and NXT are both running tomorrow. AEW right. will be, be interesting just because we haven't seen where they're going to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah, like yeah. when they said the WWE shows were going to be at the yeah. performance center. It's we like, know what oh, NXT is going to look like. Looks like. Yeah. You know, but the show, you know, as with the week to week, we talked about this last night in the wrap up, Mike and right. I, uh, you know, it's going to be a different feel than, Hey, three hours, one match and, and it should, a rerun. Like just, they should even, rent the temple. They should rent the temple. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, no one's using it. Sure. Well, I might, I might be using it. I don't know. So we don't want to get booked in Hollywood. Well, nothing now, but still, but, but yeah, it'll be interesting. At least it'll be a different aesthetic, mm -hmm. you, you know, than what we're seeing on the other shows. Yeah. Ponder says, I learned that we have a lot of replays in the next couple of weeks. Yep. Oh, you Time bet. Me. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, lovely. it's a lovely time. Oof. Oof. Uh, catch great. up on your indie wrestling, catch up on your network. A lot of things. <laughs> Guys. So easy to learn. Sork. What did you learn from wrestling or social distancing this week? Uh, I, learned, I learned tag ropes are very important nowadays. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. You just have to stand there. Yes. Yes. Mike, you can't go anywhere. Just hold that damn rope. What are you talking about? You can't move anywhere, Sorg. What? Who are you talking about? What happened? What are you talking about? Can't go anywhere, Sorg. Mike, what were you going to say? 
uh, I learned that Braun Strowman singing "Man, I Feel Like a Woman" is what we need in these troubling times. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, uh, because we're George, the guys talking George. about carpool karaoke last night or something. Uh, okay. Thank you. Someone, oh. someone pays attention to me. Yes, yeah, so he was there. Why couldn't you listen to me when I talk? I mean, there's a lot going on. Uh, uh, <laughs> Matt. Welcome to my world, Mad Mike. Matt, Matt, what'd you learn from wrestling? Oh, I, I just learned that um, you know, the, the, when when the wrestling community is 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 wounded and angry, they will lash out at anybody. It doesn't matter how big or small you are. If you're a giant, you know, take a take possibly a giant hotel chain with like thirty different brands around the world. It doesn't matter how big of a fish you are, they will attack. Um, uh, yeah, and and my producer passed me a note from you that they had actually resolved the uh, hotel situation. It seems to be partially resolved from something I read a little bit earlier. Okay, uh, that's good. Hopefully it is. We don't want anybody to lose their houses over this. No. I mean, everyone's, everyone's taking a bath. We don't want to see anyone, like, homeless. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. Because uh, everybody's, lo- yeah, they want to lose their house on top of losing their house. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, Kyle, what about you? I learned that Byron Saxton can be a target for just about anything. And, <laughs> and he will take a kick to the balls. Yeah, because of accidental. Yes, yeah, <laughs> sure. Wasn't sure. really though. Mm-hmm. Sure, I, I mean, you know, I don't, nobody. That was nobody a weird segment. Saw it live. So. That was a weird segment. Like, and, and I have there a were hard no time, witnesses besides us. And I have a hard time believing it's a true nut shot unless you see the full. You know the. No. It, you know it's pronounced. Yes, and the arm you know, stays there. Yeah, and it's yes. like oh, you got to you know yes. well, unless they they really savor it. For a couple uh, seconds, Bobby, what'd you learn? Uh, I learned that Oscar is a national treasure, mm-hmm. and that um, when you do a promo in front of nobody, it kind of feels like a Shakespeare mon- monologue, mm-hmm. like a Shakespearean monologue. That's what how Edge's many? promo felt like. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's. Yeah, how... Well, actually, Sorry. Rob, Rob, you had a good read on this yeah, before the show. I was gonna say that's kind of what I learned. It's like this: just yeah. this somebody cutting a promo in an uh, empty arena like that. It's it. I've learned that's really no different than like it, like an acting class or a yeah, or, a, or an, audition, an audition. You know, it looked like yep. you mm-hmm. know, it's it's yeah, like somebody's just reading a monologue you on know, raw when there's no reaction or it's not mm-hmm. feeding into anything in prime time. Yeah, it's just bizarre. Like you're waiting for him to cut. It's called cut. Yeah, or, I, yeah. I wanted Edge to hold a skull and <laughs> talk to. <laughs> they made, hey, we like, got on raw. How many times <laughs> did you hear? I know you're listening. Mm-hmm. I'm talking to you. Like how many? Like there was about three I counted, mm-hmm. and it was just like, okay, we should just sit back then and not care what you say then, because you just want to talk to them. Just leave us out of it. And it seems so weird that it, there were still so many backstage segments when there's no reason to not be. Why backstage. was Why was Shayna Baszler watching a TV in the performance center in the back? Yeah. With <laughs> why was she there? Like, there's it no reason no for sense. to not see them standing in the back just watching. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's just all that broken glass from uh, uh, Gargano and Champa last week. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh geez, what did I learn from wrestling this week? I learned that we are. A weekend of most wrestling shows getting canceled, and uh, I can see the wrestlers getting stir crazy already. Mm. And um, to some hilarious it... results, both publicly and privately. Uh, <laughs> so, but are you would... talking about the Victor Benjamin post uh, this a... morning? Oh no, I did not see that. What did he post? Uh, posting a picture of a pizza sandwich <laughs> with the egg on top of it. He's oh, eating like a monster, or egg between it. Basically. Oh, geez, he's given up. He's given yeah, up he's already? Like, no. He's going like, well, to be like Ben I, Stiller at the end of Dodgeball. We're going to come back to like really fat wrestlers. Like, it was two weeks. What happened? <laughs> it's like, what the hell happened, and I want to point out, I did ask him, and I was like, so where's the peanut butter? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that's his thing. He's eggs and peanut butter. Mm-hmm. He goes, it's packed away for storage. Like, oh. uh, they are moving. They are, they are moving again. So, so yeah. yeah, there's that situation. Uh, the Potter, uh, uh, did I already say Potter's thing about we? Yeah. I learned we're gonna have a lot of replays in the next couple oh, of weeks. Yes, yes, okay. All right, I think I said that out of turn, so um, yeah, we are. Um, I learned that it's not so much that I learned, but what I expect to learn is who can be creative in adversity. 
We are looking mm-hmm. at several weeks right now of not typical professional wrestling, new re- professional wrestling. We already have Ricky Starks wrestling a broom. We already have, um, you know, uh, the uh, uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and company over the Wrestle Talk uh, uh, did an empty arena show. Um, we're already going to have like other people are announcing empty arena live streams. Um, I think IWTV has announced a couple of things that, that, that like freelance wrestling and everybody is doing. Um, who was it? I think, I think, uh, uh, Mustafa Ali said he was going to cover the payment for the first show for the talent. Um, so people are coming together for this and it'll be interesting to see who is the most creative and who kind of um solves this new puzzle to continue on versus just sitting back for two months whatever this is going to be we're looking at two months at this point yeah like ser- in all seriousness yeah, we are, I, think, yeah. I, I i don't think it's it's out of turn to say we are looking at two months without live professional wrestling mm-hmm. um, and, but if you do want to see some semblance of normal live professional wrestling NXT UK is a couple episodes in the can. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. You're going to have that. I was trying to so. think who else is kind of filmed ahead like his NWA. It's WrestleLicious. It's time to shine. WrestleLicious. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> the Women of Wrestling, if they're still running. Yeah. Um, baby. If you still get that, I'm sure Impact probably has a couple in the can, unless we're in the in-between week. Or I wonder if they've um, got, any, has anybody done any... Um, you going to see package like, shows. Like any sort of live events or house shows that are in the can that, hey, we can throw this out. And even I can see like... Or a best of. I mean, I can see, I can see like TNAs, like, I, you know, WWE is one yeah. thing because like most of us have seen their pay-per-views. But right. somebody like T- TNA, can they can start pulling stuff from their Impact Plus, the Twitch streams, things like that. Yeah, I was going to say like right? that's, stuff that they know, can throw up on Access. Yeah, or so there, there's that. Is there any that. FCW up on the network? Uh, FTW, no. There's, no. There's, 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 right? some, there's, some, some, there's some hidden gem matches. They put that, they put that documentary up. They yes. should put like FCW matches on. Um, I watch. Um, there, there's, there's a couple in hidden gems, but the FCW shows are very um, not 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 well produced at all. Uh, mm-hmm. well, uh, yeah, 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 but I mean, look at some of the old like yeah, uh, no, all, like so yeah. Georgia wrestling and stuff that they have too is not. Great I think too. I think the FCW thing they also don't want to show um how many different gimmicks a lot of these guys went through because you've, be. al- you've already uh, got yeah. guys that were like say biggie uh, yeah you see biggie yeah. now where he was different in nxt and then yeah, it's like yeah. what was he before nxt wasn't like yeah. it's too... oh, cabana down there and stuff and yeah i like, think so guys they yeah. can't show probably uh, why, why are they hiding from us we need the public needs to see Leaki just to know what's <laughs> truly possible. I, I think it's funny though in some of the like the hidden gems, especially from like twenty years ago or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like I, I saw there was one where you know EPW or something. I forget whatever it was in California mm-hmm. where where they had like Samoa Joe versus like Christopher Daniels and Triple H was there. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's like a fourth guy where it's like, who the hell is that? You so know? we <laughs> have we have uh, kind of along with that. If I can give an internal plug, yeah. Uh, just posted uh, a, a project that I, I put together for Dombrowski, um, wrestling from the Heartland. The you know, H-W-A-B. Heartland, right? Yeah, Heartland Wrestling um, with uh, uh, Lou Les Thatcher. Uh, this is where like guys like Dean Ambrose came from, like Cincinnati era area for the most part, including John Cena, Charlie Haas. Um, who, it like, like it's it's a when, lot of people. Wasn't it a period when like Eddie Guerrero was kind of Eddie around, Guerrero was there? Like, yeah, big yeah, Big when, Show when they were kind of. Again, well, I don't between... think big, no Big Show was OVW, but okay. um, okay. but uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of those kinds of like like Jamie Noble's all over this thing. Where guys uh, were like Kendrick or something, mm-hmm. or, or mm-hmm. kind of yeah. So so that is uh, it's, it's right now it's on uh the indie wrestling in the US. Uh, we have it on our Vimeo page. Uh, we're still rolling it out on on the main page, I believe. Um, so so look for that. Uh, that that is available there. If you if you click the link to Vimeo, it should be right there on top. Uh, so go check that out. It, it, if you, hey, it's a good six and a half hours that you can rent for five bucks uh, to Tina fill your out. time. You got time. You got time. Uh, Tina that? says you can also find FCW episodes on YouTube. Yes, full episodes. Oh, okay. They're out there. They're out there. Oh. Yeah. Get ready to see a lot of uh, Diva swimsuit competitions. Ooh. Because Ooh. that's yeah. what we were doing. That's what we had to yeah. prepare early them for. Early days of FCW and early days of TNA. Mm-hmm. Slightly comparable. Yes. Um, Kyle, thank you so much for joining us of the pit fight. 
It lives on, damn it. <laughs> I'll see you here uh, this Friday. We'll be live on the game on the stream uh, gaming. And uh, you, you got any? You got any? So, you, are you going to be in the tournament? Or are you going to be conducting? Yeah, I'm going to be in the tournament. You got you got any trash talk? Uh, any challenge for uh, the roster that comes in here? I know I got some messages from Jason Gorey and Tyler Klein already. I mean, I'm going to win. I, that's all I got to say. Like I've been practicing these games forever. We lived off fighting games back when we were allowed at campus. Um, mm-hmm. I got to lay down the challenge to Cornell because he's like my arch rival always. Me and him will go back and forth. I always tell the story that like when we first started playing, I perfected his Supergirl with Swamp Thing in Injustice Two, and he can he can beat me pretty clean now. But I, I've never let him live down that moment ever. Um, but yeah, I'm coming to win. I'll I'll throw out the challenge to Brohemoth too because I'm pretty Ooh, sure. He's along. Oh shit! Ooh. Oh man, it's throwing down. Can't wait. We'll see. You. We'll see you here Friday. Friday, Kyle. For the pit fight a live stream. Thank you, Matt Carlin's main uh, Mad Mike. 2B.tv. Search for Lucha Underground. Yes, go catch up. You got time. Uh Riz, thank you, Rob. Thank you, Chris producer Chris Missy. Thank you, Bobby F. J Town. Thank you, chat room. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait.